The recent SIP Basha event series on opportunities for entrepreneurs in IT, which took place in Lahore on the 4th of May, gave more youngsters the chance to voice out their concerns and challenges in running businesses. While the organizers put the finishing touches to the event planned in Islamabad on the 10th of May, CIO Pakistan had the opportunity to talk and interact to a few more youngsters about their thoughts, challenges, and inspiration to run their companies. So what inspires entrepreneurship? One of my seniors said to me that your father is a self-built man and you will get a job on his reference at any of the multinational companies. So you will, uh, your career will advance on his name. So um, that those were the words that inspired me that I need to be a self-built man. I'll start from scratch and uh, without any of the references of my father, I'll make it to the industry. My inspiration was uh, not actually, my, it, SEO was my passion. Uh, I knew I could do anything that a person or an SEO can do uh, while sitting in right next to Google office. I could, I could do the same thing here in Pakistan. So I had uh, this in my mind that I want to do it and I just started on, I, I, I started as a freelancer. Uh, it went on like for, for five to six months and then I, I uh, started my own company and then I started training people and then I actually hire people to do training so what i do now is that i hire, i hire students basically they are not well trained they just have passion I, i've tried to find people who are actually needy and who have passion for seo and you can actually guess about it within a week and then what happens is uh, you when you find a good person you can train him or her and you can actually make them work the way you want to so what i learned in my experience of like three to four years in seo and i teach them in maybe four three to four weeks and then i uh, get them started on work working on like in practical field so I, I like i started as a uh, because i had nothing uh, specially in my mind because i, I was not planning for a company I, I i really didn't have my exposure uh, but when i got into the field I, and i understood my market value and then i thought i can market it uh, the way everyone else is doing हमने हम बिजली हम दो दोस्त हैं जिन्होंने स्टार्ट किया वाला तो उसमें हमने जैसे आप गर्ज किया कि हमने लास्ट चार पाँच सालों में हमने बहुत ज़्यादा इसमें अर्निंग की है अब चूँकि पाकिस्तान में थोड़े से हालात टफ हो गए हैं सिक्योरिटी की वजह से और हालात अपना की वजह से तो इसलिए अब यह कि हम फोकस कर रहे हैं इंटरनेशनल मार्केट को क्योंकि हमने अलहमदिला पाकिस्तान लेवल का स्पेशली अपने जीजन की बात की जाए फैसलाबाद जीजन की बात की तो हमने उसको बड़े अच्छे तरीके से कैप्चर किया है तो हम लीडिंग आई टी कंपनीज में से आते हैं फैसलाबाद में जो लोकल एप्लीकेशन जो कस्टमर्स को एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट सपोर्ट दे रहे हैं कंपनी लेवल सेटअप के ऊपर क्योंकि यहाँ पे हमारी जो मार्केट है वो ज़्यादातर फ्रीलांसर्स की थी फ्रीलांसर्स में बड़ी प्रॉब्लम आती है कस्टमर्स को तो इसलिए यह है कि And while Aftab, a student and budding entrepreneur, insists that mentoring and guidance is needed, Usman, an SEO specialist who started up on his own, offers a slightly different perspective. We, as a student, do not know a proper uh, guide uh, path to you know follow on or to start our own uh, setup or a startup, you can say. So we need some guidance. We need some mentorship. We need some something that is valuable to our startup as, a, as our, our project as well. We don't want. Uh, we are not asking. for some uh, financial assistance at, uh, right now but we want you uh, we want uh, big people like uh, mr zafar khan from sufiza and mr uh, badr khushnu from google and mam jahara from pasha platform that they must uh, p- uh, come and they, uh, they must uh, support our idea and they try to figure out the shortcoming and the li- limitations in it that what is lacking in that idea and what needs to be done so i think that's the biggest challenge for young entrepreneurs like uh, us who are students as well i would recommend uh, that someone who is starting up he should actually see uh, whether he can stick to what he's going to do or not because the passion is the most important thing that that led me here and uh, even i'm a journalist i i am still working as an seo i'm like i'm providing internet marketing consultancy but uh, i never studied anything in marketing i never studied anything in it so what is sticking me to this thing is like, actually my passion so I, if someone has a passion to do anything i i, I believe they don't need even funding i i started from zero so even i was uh, fired actually so uh, I don't believe in like having a mentorship and whatever. If you you can find anything on internet, but you should have passion for it. If you have passion, you will seek it anywhere on the web. 
I think they, uh, there's a lack of perseverance uh, in the youngsters. They want to make quick money uh, out of everything. If they want to do services, they want that they should make quick money and go out. They're not focusing on products. So the basic thing is that they need to stick out, uh, stick out there and see how and make things happen. Talking about challenges, what challenges did these guys face and how did they overcome? My uh, biggest fear was that I uh, have to support my family and I have to develop my products and earn my own clients. So, in uh, the past 4 years, I have to work for my clients. I have to work for my clients. When I have to work for my clients, I have to work for my clients. So, in the past project, I have to work for my clients. So, if I have to work for my next time, ये क्लाइंट चला जाएगा, सो इसे मुझे प्रोजेक्ट लेने हैं, सो क्यों ना मैं इसी का प्रोजेक्ट करूं और अपना प्रोजेक्ट जो है या अपनी जो आइडियाज हैं उनको पोस्टपोन कर, सो इसीलिए मेरे अपनी साइड पे अभी तक कमी सोन लगा हुआ है। When you are like globalization may have some bad effects of like having in terms of competition or maybe product value, but it it does have some positive aspect like you can market yourself on global platform so there's no excuse that you cannot do anything on globally i am i have clients in us i i have clients in canada so uh, some may refuse me based on my pricing some may refuse me based on the quality i provide or some may refuse me because i'm pakistani but some uh, i like uh, the client i have some talk to me as one we are afraid that you will leave us someday because the a person can, like you cannot be free for a long time so we need commitment from you that you will stick to us so it depends you need to try out you need to find new people who can believe in you and when you uh, like there's nothing harm in applying to people and talking what you you can believe and then you can get uh, good clients this is the biggest fear that people uh, there are few people there there's a lobby of uh, people which uh, who do not really appreciate you they just try to you know give you they enhance your fear. They enhance your fears. Seriously. In the IT sector, the entrepreneurs are the most successful. And there is no more charm. There is no investment required. And there are no more losses. But there is no proper guidance. There is no guidance in the latest trends in the market. In which areas it works. Even in the local market, there are many opportunities in the business. From a normal shopkeeper to a big enterprise. Everyone wants a computer. तो ये ऐसी आप जैसे एक प्रोडक्ट डेवलप कर लेते हो तो आप पूरी पूरे एरिया को मार्केट को कैप्चर कर सकते हो ये हमने आलरेडी किया है इसे हमने काफी इसमें सक्सेस मिली हमें। Though there is a lot that needs to be done, what are a few suggestions? चार घंटे मैंने यहाँ पे स्पेंड किए हैं और मुझे दस घंटे लगे हैं यहाँ पे आने में जाने में और जो यहाँ पे अड्डे से आने और समथिंग बसेस ट्रैवल करना डायवर दिस एंड दैट सो मेरे लिए चार घंटे का नहीं है ये फोर्टीन आर्स का है बड़ा एडवांटेज मुझे ये था कि मैं डायरेक्टली जिनको मैं फेसबुक पे बस देखता था जस्ट लाइक आप जहाँ आ रहा और बदर भाई इनसे मेरी फोन पे बात हुई थी गूगल समर ऑफ कोड के हवाले से लास्ट ईयर आई वाज गूगल समर ऑफ कोड सो इनसे मैं मिला हूँ फ्रीली बात की है आइडिया शेयर हुए हैं इतने कॉपरेटिव हैं कि ये बताएंगे बताते हैं कि आप ये कर लो वो कर लो जैसे अभी उस्मान लतीफ़ सी हैं सो डायरेक्टली इनके साथ कम्यूनिकेट हो जाता है तो इस तरह यह है कि अगर हम मिलने उसके बाद फेसबुक पे या ईमेल्स पे कभी राबता हो कभी टिप मिल जाए सो दैट इज़ एनफ और ये बहुत अच्छा है कि इस तरह के इवेंट्स होने चाहिए ताकि हम जैसे लोग भी जो कभी कभी जिनको अच्छा लगता है अपने ड्राइंग रूम में बैठ के काम करना उन्हें भी बाहर निकलना चाहिए देखना चाहिए ये चीज़ें प्रॉब्लम हमारे साथ ये रही है कि हमने चूँकि टेक्निकल साइड हमारी ज़्यादा स्ट्रॉग थी हमने टेक्निक अब टेक्निकल अबिलिटीज़ के ऊपर हमने प्रोडक्ट्स भी ले लिए कंपनी भी बना ली ग्रो भी कर लिया मगर चूँकि हमारे पास टेक्निकल बिजनेस नॉलेज नहीं था जिस वजह से हमने कहीं बहुत ज़्यादा यहाँ पे लॉसेस किए हैं या हम जिस तरीके से हमें हमारी ग्रोथ स्टेबल नहीं रह सकी है अप्स एंड डाउनस आए हैं उस लिए है कि अगर अपना इसमें पाशा या सी आई ओ इसमें कंट्रीब्यूट करें कि कोई बिज़नेस काउंसलिंग के हवाले से जो है कि आपका अगर डेस्क बन जाए तो वो बहुत ज़्यादा ज़्यादा हेल्पफुल है एक बिज़नेस काउंसलिंग प्लस बिज़नेस आइडियाज लीड कर इंस्परेशन देने के लिए विजन देने के लिए नए इंटरप्रनोर्स को तो ये काफ़ी हेल्पफुल रहेगा ये बात I think it's been three years that Pasha has been organizing entrepreneurship seminars and startup insiders. Uh, I think it's about time they should start creating awareness among parents rather than the students themselves. And the parents should encourage their uh, jobless youth to or uh, the jobless kids to go for entrepreneurship rather than looking out for jobs. Watch the videos we recorded from the events and offer your feedback. Also. Please keep an eye out for the findings that Pasha and Saip will generate after the Tri-City discussion series comes to a close. 
رابعہ غریب سی آئی او پاکستان